gentleman and the necromancer and we are making our way back to Falkreath. By the way, Lucian's the gentleman. We're obviously the necromancer. I just want to clear that up. There might be a lot of you that are like, oh, Ronan's the gentleman. No. Well, I mean, he's gentle in his own way, but Lucian's like, uh, he seems like he's from higher stock. Uh, is that a giant? That's a big fella. We do not want a piece of that. This might be the first time that Ronan's ever seen a giant. Uh, dude. The, the giant. Okay. That didn't go horrifically. <clears throat> this is a very alien world to him. It's very different. Uh, so, the, the place where Ronan comes from was basically a... More? They do not like, uh necromancers. It's okay. It's empty. Okay, good. We're finally at full. Oof. Oh! All right, well, this is great news. Even though we did not like killing them. Um, it wasn't pointless. We are... I need to get rid of some of this. So we're going to have to find a... Um, one of those conjuring tables. Back where Rona is from, th those things are everywhere. But not here. The conjuring table will allow, allow us to put together a uh, a construct, a bone weaver construct. I'm seeing what I should let go of. Maybe have some food. I could drink some ale. Oh wow, we're we're very overweight. Yeah, this stuff is super heavy. <clears throat> These are going to come in handy. These are like soul gems. Grand soul gems. I don't want to sell the amber. Um, sorry. Do you guys ever do this? You get stuck. You're like, oh, what do I drop? Um, man, I want it all. This sucks. I hate being in this place. This position... Um, I'm definitely not dropping that staff. Alright, I guess we'll just drop s some of this stuff. It's not like we're going to be able to summon one for a little bit. Large animal bone? Okay. Oh man, we're tired now. We are a little bit quicker than the average Joe. <clears throat> Run faster. Okay, we have no hemomancy skill points yet. Gotta watch out for wol wolves. They tend to eat us. And we also have to be very careful about where we use our necromancy. I'm debating stopping through in that town right there before we go to Falkreath. We know where that place is. It's Whiterun. But to Ronan. Wow. Swing pretty fast. I think that's an in enhanced body perk. Let's see. 
let's see. As a child, 35% resistance, 15% per, speed bonus. That's awesome. 50% stamina regeneration as well. 10% stealth. Hmm. Oh, are those some bandits right in front of the guards? I wonder if they'll... The guards will help. I'm getting out of here. Come on. Seriously? The guards aren't doing anything? That's so stupid. Oh, wait. I think they are. I saw someone shoot an arrow. Yeah, they are. Okay. So let's take the skull. Let's see. Maybe we can get a necro point. Not. Not yet. We can. Okay. Stolen silver necklace. We'll take that. Push some strength. Okay. Um. So I think I know what I want to use, take for my next necro point, and that would be. Then it's unnatural. Yeah. See, did you hear the guard say that? He's making a comment on skeleton archer. So we can now start practicing that spell um, before we go to bed or whenever we want to. We are going to go into the city of Neck. Uh, it's necromancy. We're going to go into the city of White Run, but we have to be very careful because they won't like it if they see conjured skeletons. Even if we explain to them that we're the good guys, we know we mean no harm. I do want that to feel this way that that uh, necromancy is not something that people like. And that it is not to say it's illegal, but definitely frowned upon. Yep. Come on. <clears throat> we also are going to be hunting at night to grab blood from uh, from the people of Skyrim. Won't kill him. Don't want to do that. Um, but we need it to survive. Tough times. I think back where he was from, uh, Ronan, they had like a this one needs something donation banks for the war the the warriors that would go to war. But wow, we have a lot. Sword breaker reduces enemy weapon. We'll look at that later. So that, so that, so that. I don't know what that stolen silver necklace is for. Um, we want to disenchant a lot of that stuff. I need to remember to use this if we ever get in a Terry situation. Maybe we'll read. I've never read this book before, so maybe we'll read that book if we can find a place to chill out. I think this is another necromatic book that's always interested me. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Cleaned him out. Come on, Grand Soul Gym. Let me check something really quick, because that was, uh... I'm surprised this character is getting... Where? What is the mod called? Let's see. Run for your lives, Predator, Missive. Ooh, there's a Lucian one. 
keep it clean, strain runes, trade and barter. Oops. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I have it. So apparently, I, I do know why that we're getting what we're getting with this character, why we're getting so much money, and that is because I'm not putting on his hat. It's raining. And I think we have some furs too. Do we? I thought we had a black fur cloak. Maybe we don't. Um, anyways, I'm not doing the rule where if I die, I owe money. This character is brutal as it is. And I think if I'm playing by myself, I don't mind making super difficult and dying over and over again. But if I'm recording an episode. I don't want to make it too hard. Okay. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. What so Ronan knows. I mean, he's he's joined the Imperial Imperial, the Imperium, the Imperials. He knows that there's a war going on. Uh, but he kind of gets to play by his own rules. So what time is it? Let's try to get to a shop before everything closes. Do you hunt? The planes outside White Run or right? Uh, I um, yeah, sure. We hunt if we have to. We were taught to. Everything's for. Take a look. Okay. You want it? Yes. Okay. We'll take a Grand Soul Gym. And then see if we can sell any other stuff. We want to break a lot of that stuff down. Maybe we'll visit the Jarl. But yeah, we're going to have dinner here. Not here, but in the, uh, in the end. Man, if someone would look through this in Ronan's pouch and just see all these bones and soul gems they'd freak out you know nothing nothing of our struggles our suffering nothing and what of my son hmm? what of Thorold? is he nothing okay so don't talk to me about suffering your son chose his side and he chose poorly and now he's gone we're so staying out of it no reason to have an opinion come on in we got warm nope Alright. If it's work you need, sure thing, it's yours for and then we'll buy some dinner. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. What should we eat? Potatoes. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some potatoes and then slice of cheese. Some bread. It's all very expensive. We don't have a lot of money, but I think Ronan just wants to relax. We'll get some meat. Two things of wine. Um, and we'll have to get some food for the road, too. Good apples. Okay, wow. We burned a lot of money. I'll show you to your room. Right Thank you. So I'm going to talk about his, his uh, tattooing. Ronan is not a skeleton. Though his face looks like it. We'll get to our room. Thank you, miss. Alright. Go ahead and just relax. I'm talking to Lucian. So... Get a better look at his face. His eyes represent the transformation that he's gone through. They're not vampiric eyes. They're basically him going through a process of lichdom. But the face paint is is permanent. The tattooing. What is it? It represents a uh, it represents a lot of things to the Bone Weaver. First is um, if you guys have ever seen samurai. Um, helmets 
they have like a d demon mask so it, it is supposed to strike fear into the into their 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 foes but it's also to honor the 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 constructs that they built um like I, i've said before they have a very different relationship with uh, necromancy and when they raise their what they would call their honored dead um they some of them might be relatives and so them taking on their appearance is also kind of part of their honor culture so we definitely need more health and I need to find those bone altars okay let's see all right we're at 70 that's not that's not too bad all right let's see what we can spin spin these on um have we taken any in light armor yeah we've taken it all in light armor um sorry. all right attack with swords reduces the target's attack by 15 percent um I think we're pretty good with words. Okay. Let's get down there. Have some breakfast. We'll have a potion of blood. We have plenty. The security in white is terrible. We'll sit by this guy. We'll drink it. Uh, not right in front of his face, but then we'll have some bread and uh, some of the meat. I think I'll want. Hey, wow. Pale as the snow. Yeah. That that would be uh Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Alright, let's put on our our gear. And we are gonna head back to Falkreath. But before we do that, um we know, uh even though we haven't really been to Skyrim. Uh, that if there would be an enchanting table, it would be uh, where the Jarl heralds from. Jarl, Mayor, um, the Bone Weaver, Acolytes uh, are taught, taught war, but they also are taught, uh, they're civilized. They're taught to read and they, they've learned about other people's cultures. So um, Ronan isn't naive to Nord ways. He knows that the Nords are strange about magic in general. So, what I'm saying is, he would know the uh, enchanting station would be here. Just said it in a long winded way. Okay, so let's see. We'll do Fortify Magica and we'll put it on this. Yes, that's going to come in handy. And then we can sell you. What is this? It seems this damnable spells and I'm running a lot of mods with this character that I've never used before, so uh, we'll hold on to these. We'll sell you this. This. We have to hold on to that. Alright. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should... Okay, I know what this is from. Very cool. So we didn't say hi to the Jarl. Didn't feel like we needed to. Got in, got out. We do need to pray to uh, old uh, Hermaeus Mora make Granite some knowledge. Yeah, remember. Ronan, he's like a blend of a sa samurai and samurai and a ninja. So he moves differently. 
does not take the path most traveled. Does it take money from me? I've been looking for you. I've got something I'm Did you guys hear that? Your hands only. Ah, looks like that's it. Have to go. Interesting. So we are in Falkreath, and uh, we can read this. Ronan Wraithblade, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidgir, and I have the honor to be Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The flame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath, hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you are in Falkreath. Uh, aside from the honor that uh, accrues from the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house, Carl. I can also call, uh, can tell you privately that the choice parcel of land in Falkery could be available for purchase should your surfaces prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in person. We, I don't know if we met him before, but we're not a big fan of him. think actually after this mission we are going to start heading to um, Winterhold which will be a perilous journey we could take a cart there but uh, Ronan knows he needs the experience of travel so we are going to hoof it from Falkreath all the way here to here it's gonna be cold we're gonna to have to make sure that we have a lot of wood on us so we don't freeze to death um, could be eaten yeah there's there's a survival aspect of this this series with the bone weaver samurai it's interesting me creating this character um, He's been the most difficult to play. I'm finally kind of falling into how to play him, how I feel like I, I want to. I thought Lucian was gone. But, yeah, it's, it's been, I think too, because he's not, he's not an aggressive character too. So it's not like I could just go out and start killing people. Um. You know, it's it's been, and he's not really looking for a fight, not yet. There isn't, besides the obelisk, but he doesn't really know where the obelisk is from, who the obelisk is connected to, if the obelisk is connected to anyone in Skyrim. A monk. Mm -hmm. I'd like to <laughs> I'd like to talk to you a moment. Feed. No, we're not gonna feed on you, old man. Yeah, so that's that's an interesting question. Where is the obelisk from? Who created it? Can't answer that question. If Ronin can't, I can't. Oh, watch out! Wow. Okay. Oh. gonna want to try to get a pelt I forgot that we were trying to do that one that is usable come on big money big money Rowan pelt dang it I don't want to take down my uh... oh <laughs> did not want to do that we should have studied our archery or not our archery, but our conjure skeleton archer. So basically the way that I'll be using those is I'll put one, the regular skeleton up front and then I'll put the archer in back. So he'll be able to conjure several different skeletons on the field eventually. This character is based upon my, uh, me playing Diablo. Uh, Diablo is a great game. 
But they, they, they had an interesting spin on the Necromancer in that game. That the Necromancer wasn't, uh, you know, wholly bad, but they actually, they're good. So. Where'd that wolf go? Go down the... Where is he? Oh, there he is. Her boy. Yeah, we need to get a bed roll if we're going to head down to... Oh, we're hungry. Now what's attacking us? What is it? I don't see anything. Where are you about the crab? It's fine. Leave him alone. Um, lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, we're gonna need a, a bed roll to uh, get down to Falkreath. Not Falkreath, Winterhold. Okay. So let's see if we can build one. Yes! Necromancer's bed roll. Okay. And then let me just see what we'll eventually need for the tent. So we'll need, we do need a troll skull. That'll be hard to get. I'll show you what the bedroll looks like. So this would be disturbing to some. Not to, uh, not to Ronan. We're going to get that sky shard. Another perk point? Nope. Alright, just to show you guys what it looks like, we're not gonna sleep. But. Um. This is it. A little different. Turn on the light. Pretty cool, right? Alright. Let's uh, turn off the light, pack up, <clears throat> let's get out of here. So that's going to be very helpful, glad we got that out of the way. Get some wood. Oh, we're very low on blood. Come on wolves. I love how the uh, skeletons climb out of the ground. It's so cool. Let's uh, help this wolf along to uh, the old pet cemetery. Here's something I want to try too. It's the smoke pellet. I kind of like the smoke pellet just as kind of a flavor for this character. Um, but I've never used it. Oh, it knocks him down? Wow. I might have to use that. And it, it grabs from, uh... Okay, wait, did that guy, did he just, you know, run over and just kill that guy? No, he knew, he knew he was a bandit. Okay. Let's keep moving.
this is where he kind of he feels like a ninja to me you did have someone standing outside you don't anymore Sleep. The more we use our hemomancy abilities, the more we start leveling them up. We are ninja. Shh. Moving in the shadows. disappeared into the ground. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Alright, we're going to clear out this mine in the next episode. Is that gold up there? Hold on one second. How have I never seen that? Did I knock it off? I've never seen that. Well, in all my years, I can say that too, because I've played this game for years. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.